everybody, welcome back. So you may be wondering where are we taking the U-Force 1000 here so early in the morning before the sun comes up? Well, when we originally ordered this machine, we ordered it with a few more accessories to make it a little bit more comfortable in the winter time. And with the supply chain issues that have been going on for the last two years, uh, the accessories were not in when the machine was in and I wanted to take delivery of the machine as soon as possible because I had already sold the Polaris Ranger and so we were without a side-by-side. So we are headed up there today. I got a call from the dealer that the rest of our accessories are in and looking forward to getting those on before winter here. So we'll catch back up with you when we get there. All right, so we got the U-Force back up here at Three Seas Recreation with Jared. This is my CF Moto dealer. And uh, Jared, tell us, what are we putting on the machine here today? It's gonna be a fun day because we finally have a set of doors for you. It's, it's like winning the lottery these days. So yeah. we are gonna do a front windshield uh, CF Moto accessory, which is nice. The OEM stuff works with the doors, so if you have an aftermarket windshield that wraps around the cage, it might not work with the doors. And then Adam's doing a full set of uh, CF Moto doors. We have featured these before and we love them. This is hard to get, so we've got both doors pretty much ready to go on, and there's really nothing to prep on them, just some brackets that go in. So we have both doors, his side nets, we already took those off, so it's going to be nice and easy. So yeah, we're going to do a window and uh, side doors. And I also have the back windshield that was in uh, when I picked up the machine. So I've been running it with the back windshield. I took it off for pulling it uh, on the trailer down the highway. But uh, and then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting a plow mount on the front. And the surprise for that is we're not going to be putting a snow plow on the front of this machine. We will save that for another video and let the suspense build on what's actually going to be going on the front of this machine. Okay, so we're getting ready to do the first door in Adam's machine here. Uh, just to give you guys like a walkthrough on one door and then we'll speed the second door so you're not bored. So the, what we're going to do is we just unpackage the hardware. There's an assortment of bolts that we're going to use. This is a pretty cool tool that we use to get clips out of the machines. Um, all the power sports really use these style of grommet and I can kind of show you on one here. So let me get it out and it might be easier to see. So I pull this, oh, look at that. So these tools are a lifesaver. You basically, this is a, just like a rivet and we're gonna grab the center and then it pulls out the middle and then that lets the outside collapse. So it's much easier to, to pull these out with this tool. And then if you guys buy these kits at home, cause you can get them online, you can have the door shipped to you. This is exactly what you're gonna get in that box. It's gonna be wrapped in the bubble wrap. And then there's gonna be a box of hardware in the side. Uh, and all I did was I laid out the hardware here. So. What you're gonna get are these three hinges, one, two, three in a row. This is the door clip. This goes on the side of the vehicle. This holds the door shut. And then if you guys decide to turn this door into a summer door, and that's what's cool with the CF Moto option, is at home you could take the outer or the inner skin off of the upper and the lower. It would expose all the shut, like the framework, the skeleton on the inside. And you could unscrew this off the top of this piece and once you did that, you would, you would need these plugs to kind of cover up the three holes. And then they give you a new seal to run along the bottom. So for Adam's job, we're not gonna use this, but I'm certainly gonna send him home with it because that way in the summer, if he ever decides to do that, he can. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep the three hinges. I'm gonna stick the hinges in here. got the three latches on there is three six and then only two so there's eight screws total and i've got them loose like i mentioned before so we can fine tune it to the door the next thing we're going to do is get the latch plate on the vehicle and what's cool with cf moto is they give you a template already on your vehicle at home might be hard to see but there's an upper and a lower and at the end of the day that's just going to give us a spot to put this so with that being said um, the, the nuts are already welded into the frame behind so we need to get to that so we are gonna use the drill bit. We're just gonna, uh, each spot we're gonna drill and then we're gonna put the latch plate on with the right bolts here. So first thing we'll do is just drill these out. And you don't, if you're doing this at home, you don't wanna like force the drill in because we're not trying to get to the metal behind it and the plastic will drill super easy. So as you can see, the drill speed is minimal and it kind of sucks itself in. So. I'm kind of holding back on the drill at this point. And if you can see in there, we can see those holes are nicely lined up right behind, or the, the nuts are lined up nicely behind there. So yep. threads are already in there, ready to go. Absolutely.
So the next thing we're gonna do is take this body panel off. Uh, main reason is it's gonna get a little tricky because this has to go on the same time the door goes on. But we have uh, those three screws behind here that we have to put in at the same time. And we could not do that with a panel in the way. So to remove this panel, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna pull on the front side of this. We're gonna pull out on it. And then it's gonna fall backwards. And once you get it off, you'll see it home. But just do it in this, this order. You need to pop the front and then slide back. Otherwise you can hurt your tabs. Once this is out of the way, we have those pins. And I showed that tool that I used earlier on the upper one, but we have one upper, a lower one, and then a, a 10 millimeter bolt here on the side. So I'll pop this out of here. And I already have one of those pins out. Okay. It's right in the front here. Sometimes it's just a matter of like going around the machine until it, <laughs> some brands get carried away with their pins. So super nice, it's gonna expose what we need and we can get those bolts in now. So we need to also remove, and no thanks to the directions, but we also need to remove this inner hoop because when we get this door, this kind of comes out in its way. And with a door in here, we're not, we're not needing this anymore. So also because we removed this to help get those screws in, now that everything's loose, we can just slide it straight off and it'll expose that bottom bolt in the nut. And then the top has two bolts that are directly into the frame. So it's just a 13 millimeter. I'm gonna unscrew these and I'm gonna hold that still, so. So the next step in the build for Adam is gonna be his windshield. So this is an OEM CF Moto windshield. What's cool with these is they are a clip in, clip out. No tools needed once we get the windshield built. So he'll be able to open the clamp and there's four of these uh, top, bottom, both sides. And he'll be able to pull it right off the machine. And it's not gonna interfere with his doors because the way these clamps work is they come in from this side and they're gonna clip right on there. So we will get this windshield installed. It's super simple. So. We'll just maybe time lapse it because all I'm going to do is take these, put them in the corners, and then we have one bar, and this goes, there's actually two pieces to it, but it goes in the middle of the windshield, and that's what creates the crown for the windshield that gives it some strength by pushing against it. So we're going to mount this up here, and we literally just have three bolts per side. We're going to slide it in, three bolts, and then we're going to lay the windshield against it, and it'll kind of buckle the windshield a little bit, create some strength there. So. We'll do that next. So we've got the full cab on, super exciting. It's gonna keep him nice and warm when he's plowing. And that brings us to the next piece here is uh, we're at least doing a plow mount for Adam. What we're gonna do is this is a KFI plow mount and we're gonna uh, remove the front hinge receiver to install this. You could in theory put it back on, but if you have a winch cable and you're running it down to a plow, this is gonna get in the way. So all of the ones that we do here at the shop, the customer is gonna get to take this home with him but we do not we do not reinstall them. So a real quick rundown of what we're gonna do is we have to remove the hitch receiver. We have to remove the four bolts on the skid plate. We'll pull the skid plate down. There's uh, four of them. One, two, three, four. Get the skid plate out of the way. And then uh, we'll get the mount uh, screwed to the front. We're actually gonna use these same four holes with some longer screws. And we'll put those back in. And once the mount is held on the front, 
we will then get the bottom holes. We have to drill the back two, so that's why I have the drill ready. Does the back two have to get drilled? And then these four bolts are gonna come up through um, this, and they're gonna be held onto the top of the frame. So we'll show Now, you. this KFI plow mount was made specifically for the U-Force 1000, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so when I say drill, we've been doing this since 2019. We, we do hundreds of these, so it's not like we're making something figure machine, but this is how KFI does it. Yep. There's one spot in the frame where we have to, to drill two holes for these back ones. So, But all the other holes are already using existing... Yep. Yeah, it's kind of nice in the front. It's like these four come out, four are going to go back in, and then we just have these plates that are going to pinch between the frame rail, the frame tube on the bottom there. So, Perfect. Yeah, we're not doing something crazy. This is normal procedure. Yep. All right, guys, so we just got back from Three C's Recreation. We got our windshield put on, rear window, uh, both doors, so that completes the full cab enclosure. We got our snow plow mount put on. And then one thing we decided to add while we were there was this front bumper and rear bumper. And the reason we decided to add those is kind of a cheap insurance policy because Jared said you'd be surprised how much these taillights and headlights are if you were to accidentally back into a tree or something, if you're driving at night and not see it. So spend a little bit of money now to save yourself a lot of headache down the road if you were to knock out one of those headlights or taillights. But I'll tell you what guys, the fit and finish of these hard OEM CF Moto doors leaves nothing to be desired. And that's really one of the biggest downsides to CF Moto over the past couple of years was the lack of accessories like doors, bumpers, mirrors, all of that kind of stuff. And it's nice to see CF Moto starting to up their game in the accessory department. I don't think we really talked about the functionality of these doors, but as you can see, there's a latch here on this side. So these windows can vent in the front. And then in the back, you can also vent that window as well. Or if you hit this little blue clip here, that will unlock that. You pull this little clip out and it releases this. And then this can actually swing completely open. And then there's a little latch right there that'll hold that window open now. So you can effectively have your front window vented and the back window completely open and get plenty of airflow into the cab here. Now, one thing that's nice about these doors that Jared pointed out is you can take this entire top compartment off and turn them into summer doors. So you just have the lower half. My only complaint with that is it sounds a little bit more involved than what I'd like. I'd like to see something with like clips or something like this so it could be completely toolless uh, to take the top half of this door off. What it sounded like Jared was explaining is you've got to take the plastics off the inside of the door. You'd have to redo the weather stripping so that it's just the, the bottom half of the door. Um, like I said, I'd like to see something that is very quick and easy. You can do without any tools and just go from summer to winter very easily. But with that said, being able to open up these windows and get proper venting in here, uh, I don't know that I'll ever actually go and take the top half of the doors off. So 
But yeah, guys, weather stripping all the way around. You can see when you hit this cam action on this window lock here, sucks it in nice and tight to the weather stripping. So there should be very minimal air leaks in this cab. I won't know for sure where they are until it's you know 15 degrees outside and I'm going 20 miles an hour down the road. But uh, I am very happy with this machine. I think it's gonna serve us very well this winter. It'll be nice and warm for snow removal. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to about wrap this one up. I want to give a huge thank you to Jared at 3Cs Recreation for putting this all together for me. It's a small family-run dealership. I think it's Jared, his dad, his wife, and even one of the guys back in the service department was his best friend from seventh grade. So it's really cool to see a small family-run business like that. Plus, they have a pretty good inventory of these machines right now. I think they have about three U-Force 1000s in stock. They've got about a dozen C-Force 600s, C-Force 500s. And we've gotten a lot of emails since we started doing videos on our U-Force and C-Force of people saying that they want to get them, but they can't find inventory anywhere. So if you're anywhere close to Chautauqua, New York, give Jared a call at 3Cs Recreation. I'm sure he'd be happy to hook you up. If you guys enjoyed this one, give us a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.